Have you ever been sewing along and you, you can just tell something's not right? You're stitching, you see some things that are, just don't look good. Sometimes you hear a, a crunching sound when you're sewing and you take your fabric out and the front looks good, but the back looks like this. This is the classic of example of you not having your machine threaded correctly. Now, since this is usually on the back side, people go digging in their bobbin. This is not where the problem is. The problem is actually up top. And we can't tell because we actually have the same thread in our needle as we do in our bobbin. But if we had them different, we would see that these loops would be the red loops and our bobbin thread would also be very, very loose in here. And at least it's easier to remove. You can just trim, trim, trim and out all those red goes. But what you wanna do is go ahead and re-thread the top of your machine. Hold on to your thread up here with your left, right hand and thread the machine with the left hand. What it is, is you did not get it seated deep enough in this first groove, which is where the tensions are. Maybe you threaded the machine with the presser foot down so those tension discs were closed, and when you went to sew, the thread was just riding around the outside. What happens is, is when the stitch gets made down below here, there's nothing to kind of pull it back up and create the stitch on the back of your fabric. So you have to have this thread down into the tension disc. Now here's a way to test whether you've got had a bit threaded correctly. Go ahead and thread it all the way down to the needle. I'm going to use the needle threader. If you haven't figured it out, check out the needle threader video. Now, when the foot is up, this thread should pull through fairly easy. When you lower the presser foot, the tension discs close, and now when I pull, this needle is bending. That is the indication that the thread is deep enough in the tensions and properly placed. And that will make your sewing actually turn out as it should. So next time when you go to sew, just go ahead and stitch and you'll notice you'll have no more loops on the back side of your fabric.